This video is sponsored by Boksu. More on them later. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So today, I decided to go through some old photos with you guys. Days before smartphones, mobile phones, we had to take photos. This, is the, this was the only way that we could capture memories and keep them for ourselves. And I am happy to say I have tons of photos to share with you guys. Of course, I'm not going to go through all of them. In fact, the last time I went back to Hawaii, uh, my sister uh, gave me a whole bunch of photos to take home with me. Those photos, uh, I'll have to go through them, put them into albums or something. Uh, once I go through them, maybe uh, one day I'll share those photos with you guys. I think those photos are even older than the ones I'm going to be going through today. So some of the photo albums are really, you know, easy ones like this where you just kind of like put your photo inside these uh, slots and they're kind of like these, I guess, binders. And then the really old ones are in these actual photo albums. Yeah, do they even sell photo albums anymore? So anyway, let's get through some of these photos. Okay, let's open up one of the album here. Okay. Wow, okay, so these are, <laughs> gee, really old photos, oh my goodness. I don't know why, but I'm a little shy when it comes to showing you guys my old photos. These photos are really random. I wanna tell you guys that right off the bat. So anyway, this photo right here, uh, yeah, this is, this is so nice. I'm glad I have this photo here. Uh, this was my farewell party in Hawaii. Uh, I, I used to work here. It, it was a, a gay dance club called The Fusion. And uh, this is the bartender um, um, and part owner. And this was the cake. And um, unfortunately, this guy is no longer alive. He passed away. So that's the reason why this photo is very, very dear to me. And then we got some other photos here. This is when I used to go clubbing. Yeah, I used to go clubbing here. Um, that was my friend from Brazil. He's Brazilian as well and Japanese guy. <laughs> One of my good uh, girlfriends back then. And here, that's me again. Um, she's from Thailand. That's my good friend who lives here. Let's check out some other photos here. Check it out. That is a photo of my nephew, um, Andrew. This is when we were getting ready for my sister's wedding. That's me, that's my uncle. That was my friend from Japan. That's another friend from Japan. Here's a picture of us at Disneyland. This is Dale and he did, he, that's me. Uh, this is another very special photo because um, this guy also passed away was a good friend but he committed suicide yeah so very special photo here's another photo of the farewell party he, he's another bartender um gee what was his name monty that was his name here's a picture of some sweets uh in my old apartment it was a party and these are all homemade sweets you can tell i think these were bought here but i, I made these myself you can tell that I've always loved food. Here's some other parties that we had. Um, yeah, that's Masaru Yuji. Gee, I don't remember his name. By the way, all, all the photos that I've been showing you guys so far, I'm in my 20s. I'm like 24, 25, 26 years old. This is me working at uh, Fusion, the the gay club that I was working at the door at this time. And right here, this is my good friend Michael and me. This is when Michael came to visit me in Japan. Here's a picture of me teaching English. That's me as teacher, Sensei Shinichi. And these are some of our students. That's me with long hair. That's me doing laundry. That's my pet rabbit. This is me at 24 years old. Uh, this is when I start, started working at a gay bar in Japan. There's my rabbit again. This is me at Disneyland. I think I was on a date with this guy. Ah, this is my first birthday um, in Japan. 
and I believe I was 24 or 25. And in this picture, I believe I was 20, 25. Uh, but anyway, before we continue, I do want to say thank you to Boksu for sponsoring this video. You guys know that our friends at Boksu have been sending us snacks for over a year and I've been really enjoying the snacks. Every month, I, I look forward to them. Boksu is a subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairing straight from Japan to your doorstep. Every month, they have a special theme. If you are a first-time customer, you will receive the Seasons of Japan box. This gives you a taste of what's to come throughout the year. Uh, this month, the theme is Matsuri Nights. They focus on snacks from the four regions with some of the most exciting festivals. I know that many of you guys are already enjoying the snacks from Boksu and I do want to know which ones were your favorite. I gotta tell you some of my favorites were the Edo Matsuri Ningyo Yaki Cake. I'm so happy that they've included Ningyo Yaki because Ningyo Yaki is probably one of my favorite things to eat at a festival. The other exciting addition to this month is the raindrop mochi cake. The raindrop cakes were very very popular and they went viral at one time on YouTube. So I'm glad that they included one so that you guys can all enjoy it. I'm also happy that they included the Beni Shoga Tempura potato chips in this one. Now Beni Shoga Tempura is something you can only get in Osaka. Every time I go to Osaka, I have to eat it. I love it so much and now you can try it in potato chip form. And although it is potato chips, it does taste like the Beni Shoga Tempura. So if you try this and you enjoy it when borders open, please visit Osaka and try the Beni Shoga Tempura. You're gonna be amazed at how similar it tastes to this snack. So if you're not already trying Boksu and you've always wanted to try a Japanese snack service, this is your chance. Just click on the link in the description below this video. Use the code to get $15 off your first Boksu snack box. I promise you guys, you will not regret it. You guys will love the snacks just as much as I do. Uh, we're just gonna go through uh, two more albums. Um, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Hopefully this is interesting. So this album right here, right here, can't really tell what's in it unless you open it first. But this one's uh, quite interesting, at least to me. These are pictures of my first trip to London, or England, I should say. Um, this one, it's not London, I think, I, I don't even remember where exactly this is, but this is actually some kind of castle that's been converted into a hotel and we stay here. I stay here with this guy. I guess I'll talk about him in a, in a while, but let me show you some of the photos first. And um, I really enjoy this place. This was the lobby of the hotel right here. Once again, I don't quite remember the name of the hotel. This is the room. And this is the Orient Express. Yes, we went on the Orient Express, which was amazing. This is a bad photo. It's blurry, but we're having a meal on the Orient Express train. Here's a picture of me in my cabin. I'm not really sure what I'm doing there. And from London, we ended up in Venice. And I've always wanted to go to Venice. That's one of the reasons why I, I agreed to go on this trip. Um, and I'm glad I went. So this was when I was working at the gay bar in Tokyo. It's been about, ah, let's see, six months since I arrived in Tokyo, I think. And this guy was a regular customer. He asked me if I wanted to go to Europe with him, all expenses paid, first class, going on the Orient Express, and he wanted to, uh, he wanted me to go with him because he needed a translator. He needed someone who spoke English. And so, well, like I said, you know, I, I always wanted to go to Venice. I, I've always wanted to go to 
London and, and this was my chance. Obviously, this customer liked me in the romantic way and he was hoping that something would blossom from this trip. However, it didn't. I wasn't interested in, in him in that way. And sh I'm going to admit, to be totally honest, I did sort of lead him on. Unconsciously, consciously, I don't know. I'm trying to remember my mindset back then and I'm having a hard time. All I remember though was that I was desperate. Uh, I was... I... I didn't have much money to my name and I was always um, struggling to make ends meet back then and so for me to be able to go on a first class flight to to Europe was like a dream, it was like a fantasy and so I just said yes. So going back to some other pictures, uh, this was a hotel that we stayed at in Venice, it's called Hotel Daniele Venezia. That was a room and I remember this for, for some reason I don't know why I, re I remember this photo so vividly I remember what I was doing I was having breakfast but I was busy because I had to get on the phone to speak to the concierge to make arrangements to go on a boat like a private boat which is this one right here this private boat here and um, that's the reason why I remember it and then after that, our next destination was Germany. I believe this is Munich. So we went to Munich right after that. This was our private driver for the duration of our German trip. This was Rothenburg of the Talbe, uh, which is the home to Neuschwanstein. Neuschwanstein, beautiful place, beautiful city. That's me in front of the castle. Neuschwanstein. This is the castle, I believe, that inspired the castle for Disneyland. Last photo album for the day. So this is my trip around the world, actually. I mean, this was LA, I believe. This was Universal Studios in California. And this was actually the guy I went out with. This is Walt Disney World of Florida. Yeah, this was the guy I went out with, I was with this guy for about three years. He was the last guy I went out with before I met Satoshi. Here in this picture, I was, because it was right before Satoshi, it was like around the year 2000, I believe. I, I, I believe this is the millennium celebration. I don't remember. So that would be um, how many years ago? 22 years ago? 22 years ago, I believe. Which means I was 35 years old in this photo. 35. And then after Florida, going to Paris, of course, I had to go to Disneyland Paris. I was, I, I loved Disney back then. And let's see, uh, these are some photos of Paris. Wow, looking at this photo makes me want to go to Paris again. I haven't been back to Paris in such a long time. But I do remember just being in the city. I was so happy. I, I just felt the entire city was absolutely beautiful. But like I said, that was the last guy I went out with before Satoshi. There was a one year, maybe a little over a year blank between this guy and Satoshi. Uh, because I needed this time to you know, not be with a guy because I really really was into this guy um, that's another very very long story it was a very serious relationship I thought I was gonna be with this guy forever but of course that didn't happen and I guess that was a good thing it really was because if this didn't happen and if the breakup didn't happen I wouldn't be here with Satoshi so I guess things happen for a reason. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Did you find it boring? I, I hope you guys found it interesting. Um, I thought I'd share with you guys some photos, share with you guys tidbits of my past. My life really has been full and exciting. My, my life was filled with joy, despair, sorrow, sadness, disappointment, but also happiness 
new discoveries, just a whole bunch of stuff. It was a good life. So thanks for watching. Once again, check out Boksu if you haven't already done so. Click on the link below, check them out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.